Dave Glenda, the suspect's girlfriend, not happy to see us. She was allegedly home at the time of this arrest with her three year old daughter. Now keep in mind, this man is a registered sex offender. We also know agents had to force their way in, breaking down the door. I don't give a damn about these cameras. You are invading my privacy. She's the self-described girlfriend of Christopher Pro, pictured here in a federal affidavit now unsealed. A convicted sex offender, prosecutors say he posed as an ATF agent until his arrest by real federal agents from Detroit. A neighbor of this 36-year-old man taken out of this Redford home on Nagani earlier recalls seeing him packing heat. You ever seen him with a gun? Yeah, yeah, I've seen him. I, you know, it's hanging on the side right here, back here on, on his hip. Feds say Pro was an amateur, a wannabe who carried a fake badge and even had a bogus uniform. He allegedly went by the name Chris Conley and even gave himself a fake promotion to supervisor. What was he going to do, Simon? Was he going to rob people, assault people? Uh, did the badge give him easier access to people, make people feel comfortable when he approached them and then rob them or assault them? Talking with us by Zoom, a real supervisor with the ATF now retired after nearly 30 years. Donald Dawkins says this type of crime is no joke, a point also made by U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider. It's quite dangerous. I mean, just think about this. These impersonators aren't properly trained as federal agents or people who impersonate police officers. They're not trained to pull over a police uh, a citizen. This affidavit goes on to mention Christopher often carrying a police radio and handcuffs, even detaining unsuspecting citizens. It's unknown what more, if anything, he could have been planning. We've learned multiple informants spoke up because Pro is not allowed to have a gun as a serial felon. Arresting agents say he also hid ammunition in the rafters of this house and his gun was stolen from East Point. We don't know what drives all the people who do this, but I can tell you that whenever we get these cases, we charge them. Pro allegedly confessed and faces as much as 10 years behind bars. He is also detained at this time with a court hearing tomorrow at one. Dave.